Let's listen to Endless Suffering, the Genshin Impact short trailer for Xiao. Evil takes on many forms, but always carries a karmic curse. It spawns mon- This is gonna be a breakdown of the music and how this it makes us feel. Just so you know, when we start a piece off like this, you hear the uh, solitude that Zhao inhabits in his day-to-day -day life, right? You hear a single instrument with the wind blowing in the distance. That is to give us the feeling of isolation, of solitude, of, of loneliness, of, you know, the sort of idea of being a recluse. That's all indicated by a single instrument. And in this case, I believe it's the Sakuhachi. I'm not entirely sure, but that is very powerful. And even in the first 10 seconds, we already like discover so much about who Zhao is just from one instrument alone. Monsters that lurk in the mountains where the Adepti dwell, preying on the living for decades. It manifests as devastating pestilences, scarring the world for centuries. It is the sworn duty of the Yaksha to purge all evil. After millennia of bloodshed, karma takes a toll. A moment of complacency, and I too will succumb to the darkness. An instant of negligence, and it will turn me into one of the monsters I swore to purge. <sighs> After millennia of suffering and endless slaughter, I now see things for what they really are. It goes without saying, but that entire section, we feel the pain that Zhao has. This constant back and forth that Zhao has with his personal demons, and the fact that he is alone, and the fact that he has suffered so much. Zhao is one of my favorite characters because of his darkness. There's a quality about Zhao that really gives us this feeling of painful uh, duty. Like, he, he is bound to purge of his enemies, and it, it's almost like he doesn't have a choice. And so, when that, I believe it's an Arhu, when the Arhu comes in there, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, when the Arhu comes in there, you really feel that that is Zhao's song. Whereas, if, 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 if that instrument that came first was the Sakuhachi, if that music was the characterization of loneliness, then I think that this instrument, that Arhu, and if it's not the Arhu, it's either the Niko or the Kokyu, whichever instrument that is, I think that that actually represents the sort of bound by duty that Zhao carries with him every day, that sort of psychology of, of being always at odds with himself and sworn to, you know, purge the world of his demons and so on and so forth. I think that that music really comes across there and there's a lot of pain in that. Obviously, there's also that sequence in the, in the video where we're fighting and Zhao is, you know, plunging his lance and things like that. And that is all represented there in that music and in that intensity. Note that there are two instruments here that are clashing. Yo, bo, 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 bo. There's a clash there. The clash is also inside Zhao. Also, we have that momentary silence where all we hear is the wind blowing as he looks up at the night sky. And in that moment, again, there's that there's that at odds sensation, which is is it's apparent to me as a musician, but it's it's worth pointing out to you. By the way, I'm Marco. I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor. If you're new to the channel, I love talking about analyzing and discussing video game music from an emotional perspective. And that's why you're here to talk about the emotions of what's happening while we listen. You slept the whole day through, you know. Good thing you're awake. You're Listen to this. Listen to how this music completely shifts as we have, as we have Baiju. We have this gentle piano. And that represents peace. It represents the, the bright lights of this study. It represents gentleness. It represents a sort of arrival at a safe haven. The piano, especially in that upper register, can have a really gentle and warm quality to it. You're just in time for the lantern rite. Huh? I carried you here on my back. I'll go get you some medicine now. <sighs> huh? 
Mm, and you hear how we have a little bit of this distant quality. Boo, 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 boo. Do 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 do? This is a bit of unresolved uh, music. We didn't we didn't go. Boo, boo, yo, boo, boo. It's because Zhao disappeared. And so we have this sort of almost like this uh, evaporative sensation in the music where the music allows us this feeling of disappearing. It's like, oh, he's gone. Where did he go? That's really um, also a really nice cue that what's happening on the screen is reflected on what's happening in the music. Also worth noting is the orchestration underneath is very, very long bowed, very focused pr predominantly on the strings. And that's giving us this, this open space where we're sort of discovering and allowing allowing for uh, time to rest. So we've got the piano over top that's very gentle when we come in and then it shifts into this, again, this sort of mysterious vanishing quality while the strings underneath are giving space for Zhao and giving time for Chi Chi to go and get the stuff that he needs. You know what I mean? It's pretty interesting. Little details. <sighs> <sighs> Now listen to this, this agony. Well, it, it, mm, agony is not the right word because there's this feeling. He's, he's, he sees him, his, his himself. Oh gosh, why can't I get rid of this? It's constantly backing at my feet. I just want space from the, you know, there's there's a, a sadness in here, a, a pain. And I don't think he's an edgelord. And I actually don't like that that's used because these emotions are so complicated. This is a character that has suffered so much. He's not just edgy. That makes it seem like his emotions aren't, aren't valid. He's, he has an immense, endless suffering as the title says. It's like, God. I will never like be able to rid myself of this pain. It's also interesting there that that instrument resolves. It goes back down. There's a resolution in that moment. And I think it's it's almost like, well, you never will get rid of this suffering. You know, he looks at that shadowy version of himself and it's like, I'm never going to get rid of this. It's powerful stuff. <laughs> Did I scare you? Don't worry, this mask is to scare away monsters. It really works. You don't need to be afraid. Huh? Are you okay? You look tired. Now listen to that. Now listen to that. She says this mask is used to scare away monsters. And that music almost infers that he himself believes that he is the monster. And so there's this feeling of like, I'm the monster. This is gonna, it scares me because I myself am a monster. And you hear that in the music. I'm a monster. Grandpa, give him some rice wine pudding. Care to join me for a drink on this fine evening? Huh? Huh? Oh, you started celebrating already. Any rice wine for me? Sorry. Tonight. I just want to rest. <laughs> Very nice. It's good to take the mask off once in a while. Even just for one night. And then when we see Venti, there's this feeling of the the, the orchestration is very gentle there and very light, and it, it really is is a, the air and the wind of Venti. There's this gentility in that sound, and that represents Venti really well. I also like that Venti's also humming in that moment, of course, being a bard. So there is this gentle quality there, and you know that line is well, you know, sometimes it really is nice to just take the mask off for a night. It really gives us this feeling of like, okay, Zhao is here. He's going to be at Lantern Right. He deserves moments of peace for himself and hopefully tonight he'll find some and i think that's really sweet and i really enjoyed i watched this uh last night when it when it dropped seemingly out of nowhere and it was an incredibly beautiful and really powerful experience watching that alone for myself but i figured i would uh show up here and and provide you with a little bit of some musical context that i heard and really enjoyed by myself so as always if you like this sort of stuff feel free to like subscribe there's tons of genshin impact on the channel and i'll see you at lantern right Talk to you later. Bye.